Hey guys, what's up? It's Dusty here, back with another crypto video. And today we're going to be talking about Ripple and XRP, but also we are going to give away $50 worth of crypto. All that you have to do to enter this giveaway is press the like button on this video and comment something down below. And if we actually hit 300 likes within 24 hours, we are giving it away. So make sure you smash the like button right now. Guys, don't forget to follow my second channel called Dusty Finance, and don't forget to follow this channel, Dusty VC, by just pressing the subscribe button. Ripple sponsors Women's Equality Day 2019 event. There was a lot of talks, a lot of stir up about this um, Women's Equality Day. Uh, at least that's what I saw on Twitter. But now I just noticed by Emi Yoshikawa that we, at least that's what she said, we, a Ripple, are honored to be a sponsor for this event organized by Silicon Valley Leadership Group to celebrate female leaders. And again, it is quite a good move from their side again because it's pretty obvious actually. Do I need to explain why supporting these moves and really showing the world what you're, you're standing for, you know, for equality and, and sponsoring and helping everybody out, why that's a good thing? I don't think I need to explain into detail why that is so, but it's just pretty cool that um, Ripple specifically here is doing that. We also know that Ripple is funding like the, the university programs. They're also donating to victims of floods and things like that. Like Binance has a few charities here that they have foundations for. I don't know what Ripple exactly tuned in to which ones they did and which ones they do not, but you can check it out. If you type in Ripple Charity, you'll most likely um, find quite a little bit about it online. And it's pretty, um, yeah, pretty cool. By the way, guys, also don't forget to follow my Facebook group or to join the Facebook group, actually, to be able to talk in there. We're going to be posting some really cool things in there relatively soon, so make sure you go ahead and do that. XRP bag holders are begging Ripple to stop dumping its coins. Well, it's worth a try, right? And this is something I, I wanted to get back to once more for the last time ever because I've just been seeing it in every single article for the last couple of days here. Literally here in this article which is, you know, a pretty interesting title, pretty interesting topic. They have it once more at the bottom. The community wants Ripple to stop dumping XP. Second article I opened, XP bag holders are begging Ripple to stop dumping its coins while it's worth the tryout. It's just really everywhere. And to my surprise, it has gotten quite a few votes. But to my not so much surprise, it didn't get that many votes. I mean, 2,500 votes for, for this whole situation is... Uh, yeah, that, that's not too much. At least some people are saying it's a lot. I don't think it really is. If you were to say uh, a new petition of XRP should be listed on this exchange or that exchange, you'll get 40 times, no, not 40, but, you know, like two times, maybe five, maybe 20,000 votes, maybe 16,000 to, to put in on average, 16,000 votes for, for a new exchange listing. And for Ripple to stop, quote unquote, dumping XRP, to only get 2,500 votes or anything like that, I, I don't think it's really an achievement at all. I don't think it's really... Significant. I don't think they should put any effort into to, you know, helping these people out with what they want. And it, it is quite an interesting way to see it all. Now, one thing that I think about the situation is that even if, right, Ripple stops dumping XRP, there will still be another issue that people will look out for. And also that one of the biggest spendings of XRP is, of course, as we saw for XRP. Again, it's it's really for me quite difficult to know exactly what XRP is spent on. I don't know where to find that, but it is possible to see how much gets put out of escrow, how much gets taken out of escrow, like one billion XRP every month, and how much gets put back into it. And then in general terms, they also say what they spent the money on that was kept out. So for example, a majority of the XP kept out was to, to help, or actually most likely all of it was to quote unquote, oh no wait, quote, help the XRP ecosystem, unquote, but what they exactly spend it on is, is quite difficult. We know for a fact that they spend a lot of money of that on spring and like like indirectly on coil and such things. But really, you still don't completely know. And I, I get that. I get also why people wanted to stop dumping. But on the contrary, also, this dumping most likely does not reflect too much on us either, I think. But hey. Here they're saying it's indeed a business model that has made Ripple's top executives very wealthy indeed. I, I don't really think that that has a lot to do with their wealth. If you look at it from Brad Garlinghouse's perspective, right, CEO of Ripple, if or if they did not dump any XRP, I don't think it has too much to do with exactly his position in this world. Like, he could have gotten a lot of XRP from the start when it was that dirt cheap, 
And it would have been still, as he still is, it's just really extremely wealthy. I mean, it's just about adoption at, at what grade you, you, you started at, right? They were all early adopters of cryptocurrency. They were all into cryptocurrency really early and, and had a lot of it. And in this case, they had a, a coin, which most people did not know about yet because, of course, they had it up front. And yeah, how much they they dump now does not matter for anything because they already have a very big amount of money. So it doesn't really, to me at least, doesn't make the top executives that much more wealthy uh, for Ripple as a company to, to dump. But hey, that's again just my opinion about it. Also, guys, if Ripple stops all of this and they just, let's say, like lock all the money up, one thing we're going to see is the scarcity effect from like people saying, oh, we only have 42 billion XP left, 43. On the contrary, Ripple's not going to be doing anything for XP anymore, so... It's a little bit of a trade-off that you have to make there. Santander Group expands use of Ripple Payments technology. Banco Santander is building a payments network that will allow Latin American customers to freely transfer money to the U.S. via a mobile app that uses Ripple technology according to Coindesk. International payments, in a way, is a way for us to acquire customers having a painful experience with traditional banking. The publication quoted OnePayFX CEO Cedric Manager as saying, Before this development... Only certain European customers had the ability to send money via OnePayFX, the mobile app that leverages Ripple software. The international payment experience in the Latin American markets is even less evolved than in the European markets, Madiger said. All right. <clears throat> Analyst. First Bitcoin correction of bull run to end. Reaccumulation to follow. Well, yeah, this is pretty cool. You know, articles like this always get me hyped up a little bit because as I've told you guys before and as we've been talking about for the last couple of days and I keep telling you guys in every video <laughs> if you've ever seen a coin market cap if you've ever looked back at previous bull runs or previous gains you already know that Bitcoin is one of the biggest catalysts in the game what Bitcoin does these altcoins do if Bitcoin runs coins run like the altcoins run if Bitcoin falls these coins fall it is exactly that way, and nobody's going to do anything else about it. One thing you should just understand, though, is that articles talking about Bitcoin could even be more important than articles talking about coins. And that's actually not about um, maybe like developments, because coin specific could make a big impact. But I'm talking about TA or price analysis or technical analysis. It's all, it's all cool to, to look for these specific coins, but it's mostly about what Bitcoin is going to do, unless it is a price or technical analysis about um, the coin to US dollars. In that case, you will never hear me complain because, yeah, I mean, that can be pretty pretty damn good. <laughs> but if you were just talking about, um, for example, Ethereum to US dollar, yeah, I, I, don't, you know, I don't really see it being very, very useful, but hey, that's just me once more. I, I just find it that way because I've seen in the past that it's about all about Bitcoin. But yeah, analyst first Bitcoin correction on bull run to end recommendation to follow. Pain for Bitcoin bulls is ending. So Bitcoin has entered a bearish trend over the past few weeks after it failed to bound past 13k for the second time. The crypto tanked. In fact, at one point it hit $9,080, which is around 35% lower than the year-to-date peak of $14,000. What's crazy that some analysts have been calling for Bitcoin to retrace further. Dave DeWave, a prominent long-term trader, has argued that Bitcoin is more sustainable and healthy at 6500 not at 10200 valuation currently seen. But data analyst Data Center recently proposed that the ongoing correction, which is the first of the current bull run, will end shortly and that Bitcoin reaccumulation flatlining will follow. And down below, that being said is, here's my alternative visualization of Hans's work and the interpretation of it. And you can see um, Hans the Red in a tweet. If you're not sure what I'm talking about with the Bitcoin days destroyed, you might find this article helpful. And it's actually what we just mentioned already. In the thread above, they took the 89-day moving average of the Bitcoin days destroyed BDD indicator, which effectively determines the velocity of Bitcoin on the chain with the extent to which investors are holding their Bitcoin stash. To show that Bitcoin has completed its pre-capitulation capitulation and bear market recovery rally phases. 2. Final stage of the bull run. This is longer and is marked by profit taking at on-chain level by big players solely. Of course, it is difficult to sell all coins at the absolute top, so they'll sell increasingly as price sustained upwards by retail. 3. In my opinion, Bitcoin has almost completed its first correction and is about to enter its first reaccumulation stage, usually marked by a slow increase in price. 
So what's next or what is going on right now? Well, citing the indicator's action in previous market cycles, the analyst noted that the number of Bitcoin days destroyed is starting to decrease, implying reaccumulation and a flat line of volatility for a number of months. And to conclude that, BTC has almost completed its first correction and is about to enter its first reaccumulation stage, usually marked by a slow increase in price. Bam! We got it, guys. I'm pretty excited about that all. And the last one I wanted to quickly show you guys was right here. MoneyGram driving major increase in XP volume, says Ripple Executive. We've been seeing it time upon time upon time. And now it's just another low. Low confidence boost so we know that MoneyGram is really the real deal. I've been talking to people for a very long time about MoneyGram and how it's going to change us all. But damn, guys, is this good. Is this good and am I excited about it? So... The head of Ripple's global institutional markets team says the company's partnership with payment giant MoneyGram is already having an impact on XRP's overall trading volume. Brian M. Madigan highlights new numbers from Crypto Compare that show the volume of XRP's pair with the Mexican peso is on the rise. New and notable data shows that although overall XRP trading volume was down nearly 65%, XRP to Mexican peso volume on Bitso went up more than 25% during the same period of time that MoneyGram payments into Mexico using XRP went live. A real UK's driving real volume. MoneyGram announced it officially launched Ripple's XRP-powered cross-border payment solution XRapid on August 2nd in a call with investor CEO Alex Holmes touted the digital asset's ability to settle payments in a matter of seconds. I am so excited to announce today that MoneyGram is now live and transacting on the Ripple XRapid platform. We started executing trades earlier this week and all signs point to this being a tremendously beneficial relationship for all parties involved. We are literally settling currencies in seconds. And to quote my friend Larry, this is really cool. <laughs> I always like that quote, guys. <laughs> eh, we've had a couple of laughs about that. MoneyGram and Ripple announced their partnership in July. Ripple bought $30 million of MoneyGram shares at a premium of $4.10 per share, with the option to purchase another $20 million worth of shares over the next two years. Some people were wondering why they bought this high, but that is because Ripple wanted to have a majority of the stakes. And to actually get that, the, the person that was holding them had actually taken such a big loss on the coin, uh, on the, the holding, that it did not want to let them go for a, a big loss or a loss at all, I believe. So the only thing he would let him go for was for a, a profit or for at least a very high price. In this case, four times higher than the, yeah, the average price was. And they bought it. Ripple's like, yeah, sure, sure, buddy. We'll just go ahead and buy that from you right this second. and uh, Pretty cool, but they did. right? They did. They bought it, and it's doing a very good job indeed. So, again, I'm pretty happy um, to see that, I guess. I don't, I don't see any bad sides to this whole story, to this whole um, situation. And to, to get back for a second, by the way, one thing I forgot to mention for, for a little bit was how Coin Field, and I got reminded because Coindesk was here, is also working now for some new XRP things. And Western Union is also possibly testing it all out. And it's funny that this is being sponsored by Western Union. This page on Yahoo Finance talking about Ripple. Pretty interesting. But one thing you should know is that uh, there's so many parties talking about them right now. There's so many parties talking with Ripple, with XRP um, right now, or about XRP right now, discussing the possibilities. There's way more parties than you've ever heard of talking about possibilities, talking about what they can do, how they can get it done. And most likely, there's way more parties than we know testing it. But some will, of course, fall off as they do not like it. And we will never hear that they have even tested it. And others are now testing. And a chunk of those testers will most likely be announced at Swell that is coming up relatively soon in November. I'm pretty excited for Swell as well because <laughs> Swell as well. I'm Swell to, to look into Swell. Because, yeah, really, realistically talking, it could be a game changer. As we've seen before here with MoneyGram just now, these partnerships can really get something great done. And these partnerships may change everything in a matter of weeks, in a matter of months. It's going to change or possibly could change everything that we know in the payments realm. It's really amazing. Guys, make sure you follow my channel called DustyBC. Make sure you follow my second channel called Dusty Finance. Make sure you check out the links in the description below. Most importantly, for Discord and for Facebook, join the Facebook group right now. I'll see you guys again in another crypto video. Take care, everybody.